In this video, we discuss server and client-side processing. When we use the internet, the majority of our interactions involve two types of connected entities, the client or user, and the server holding the web page or resource we want. In this example, a user is trying to view a web page on their browser. This involves a simple static data interaction. The client requests the page, the client's request is received by the web server, and the web server returns the page to the client's browser. In this example, a user is attempting to book cinema tickets via their smartphone's web browser. This process will potentially involve many interactions back and forth between the client and server as they select a cinema location, followed by a movie, then a date, time, seats, and finally enter payment and confirmation details. During these interactions, decisions are made about what processing occurs on the client or the server side. And these decisions are often based on issues around performance, security, and usability. So let's start with the sort of stuff which is typically reserved for being done on the client side. Well, quite typically, initial data validation is done here um, by JavaScript. Manipulation of the user interface and elements. Applying website style site CSS is done on the client side. And of course, everything done on the client side means we're reducing load on the server. And this reduces as well the amount of web traffic that's having to leave the client and travel between you and the server. Now if we look at the server side processing, this often does detailed further additional validation, stuff that couldn't be done on the client side. Typically queries and updates to the server database will obviously all be done on the server side as opposed to the client encodes data into readable HTML, keeps organizational data secure by making sure stuff is only done on the server side and not at the client. And some of the more complex calculations will be done on the server side. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. How are client and server side processing used with dynamic web pages and what are the advantages of each?